Hello and welcome to Let's Try. We're trying a game called Adaka. Adaka? I don't know. Is it Adaka? A-D-A-C-A? -A? Listen, um, <laughs> this is not, uh, not like a lot of other games I have showcased on this channel, but I do want to broaden my horizons a little bit and I play a variety of games in real life so this really appeals to me so maybe it appeals to you as well um this flew by my radar on on twitter of all places and i was like i have never heard of this game and it's sort of approaching 1.0 if not already out and yeah, there you go 1.06 and it looks really really cool i'm really excited to showcase this i'm very grateful for the dev uh giving me a key i really appreciate you that's awesome seriously Let's let's try this out. We're gonna try out the campaign. Play as Jesse Thorne in this story-driven linear adventure broken up into multiple episodes. The dev did tell me that um, it might be uh, better for me um, to try Zone Patrol, but I'm gonna try both. I wanna give both a, a bit of a showcase, so let's give that a go. Um, we'll start with the tutorial. I may cut some of it out and no aim assist. Gender non-binary. Criminal charge, destruction of company property. 40, a lot of monies. Sentence, 20 years, conscription service. With Mahez, private military. All right. You can catch your own grenades out of midair. Oof. I gotta say, I, I already really like this. I gotta, I might turn off the um, motion blur. Let's see if I can do that now without hurting, nope. Oh, yeah, okay, hold on a second. Do, 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 Zero motion blur. There we go. All oh, unit, uh, you are now the property of the Mahas Private Military Cooperation. Corporation. Not, you can't spell corporation without cooperation. You totally can, but I'm bad at language and spelling. Neural implant has been surgically integrated with your cerebral cortex. It has installed the minimum required combat training into your memory, as well as integrated a heads-up display into your vision. Nice. Additionally, it possesses the ability to administer chemical disciplinary measures should you fail to obey your orders. Now begin obstacle training. I, uh, I kind of hope this lighting is consistent when we actually get into the game because i really like this it's like almost ray tracing like it's really nice i don't know if that's like um just kind of statically painted on there or if it's actually like light coming through the windows but i, I like that a lot hold left control jump we're we're doing we're gonna zoom through this zoom 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 and then, of course, ooh, you can jump and also grab a ladder. Crouch, wait, is it, oh, we have crouch jumping? No, yo, my, my Half-Life nostalgia is awakened. Move onto the weapons terminal, uh, approach the first bench, and equip the pistol. Yo, I can punch. That's not a punch. That's like a open air, open hand slap. We are aboard a pressurized vessel. Oh, so don't shoot the windows is what you're saying. Is You're saying do not shoot the windows. All right, well, uh, count, count, count me disappointed. All right, rifle? Nope, that's the wrong button. That's, wait a minute. Uh, right mouse button to aim. Where's my rifle? I only have a pistol. Oh, I have to pick it up, right. I'm a dang fool, aren't I? So, um, what, uh, from what I could see from the trailer, from, from like a cursory glance of, of things, uh, this game has kind of an open world sandboxy thing going on and, uh, it's single player only. And that's actually what really appealed to me. This is a, it feels, um, similar to a lot of trends we've been seeing, like almost, uh, pick up drop zone kind of, kind of games like Tarkov and stuff like that. But, um, I I, I'm sure the mechanics are going to be a little bit different, but I honestly, the fact that this was single player really appealed to me because I find the PvP nature of a lot of the recent uh, shooter trends to be a little bit, um, well, it's, they're not very accessible. So, you know, the fact that I could jump into this and, and maybe like, you know, yes, have some challenge, yes, have uh, a bit of a skill, 
uh, gap, not gap, I guess, but like a little bit of a, a wall is, is satisfying, but it means I don't have to keep up with the absolute cliff that is other players uh, in PvP. So that was that appealed to me. I've often thought about um, maybe playing some of these trending games like Hunch the Showdown or I don't know, Tarkov has been like incessantly popular and maybe it's very good, but I don't know. I find them very intimidating because I know I'm gonna be I'm gonna have to deal with other players. And never mind things like Fortnite. That's just a no no. I have to I have to, you know, Basically, my 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 old old man brain has it can barely comprehend aim and shoot. Never mind, also, uh, you know, build very elaborate structures for the purposes of tactical shooting. Can't do it. Can't do it with my old man brain. All right, we jump in this. There we go. The other thing that appealed to me is, um, I, as I understand it, this this game does have some influential roots in uh, from the the half-life series and it uh, makes a lot of use of a very robust physics engine which i'm very excited to kind of dip my hands into because like i i mean if you can watch my half-life playthrough uh, on the channel not to tote myself but um i i really love uh physics engines i think that they're they're underutilized in today's uh, modern like a gaming scene Hold still just a few more tweaks. Uh, Alright, I'm gonna not skip this for now. Also, nice mutton chops. His name is literally Dr. Chops. Amazing. You've been asleep for a while. I suppose you were another conscript, huh? They left you and your comrades to rot in these tubes. Uh, your arm was severely atrophied. I had to replace it with a cybernetic. Oh, ho yuck. Heck yeah, bud. We, we caves of cud in this game. It is top quality, and I also gave it a little something extra. It should be integrated with a neural link that can the corp can uh, put in you. Go ahead and try it out. Press Q to pull it. Oh, aim at an object. Mm, yes. Zoo. Boo. Heck yeah, bud. So we got basically. Ooh, that was a bouncy lad. We've got uh, basically a, a gravity gun in our left hand. You can also press Q again to drop it. Or right mouse button to toss it more gently. Nice. I was hoping that bottle would smash, and it did. Fun, eh? I hope you don't mind. I took some liberties with your arm. When you're ready, just open the door over there. I didn't ask for this arm, but I'm glad I have it. You know? I'll explain what's going on our way into town. I'm sure you have plenty of questions, friend. I do, I do. Like, when do I get to explode things with my left arm? And also, when can I shoot other people? So, what are we doing? Door? Exit. Press the button. We leaving. Spring thaw. I like the that little vibey tune we got going on. It's pretty good. I, I appreciate it. Yo, we got pallets. Ah, whoa. Hold shift to sprint. Okay, let's uh heal first. I missed the door, but the, the game don't mind. You can throw caught grenades back so hard they, they something something and I missed it. I always can't I can never stand missing reading something. Ah, stupid thing. You can steal weapons from staggered enemies by using your force pull. How do I stagger an enemy? It's key. E. Aha! Ah, oh, we a bit of Mirror's Edge in this game as well. So, like, the other thing that really impressed me from just, just looking at a bit of the trailers... This is, first of all, this is a pretty solo operation, this game. And yes, it does have a, a fairly low fidelity look to it, but man, you cannot argue that these environments are really well constructed, designed. Like, that's that's one of my favorite things is when um, uh, you know a studio or, or a game uh, dev works with something low low fidelity, low fi, low poly, um, and makes it work, and it still ends up looking like something really beautiful and like realistic. Like, I, I seriously don't think that, um, like, 
the poly, you know, polygon count matters at all. I think it's really how you use them. And um, this this game, like, seriously, has already kind of impressed me. I guess I could have grabbed something and thrown them. No ammo. Okay, so we're gonna have to do that. Yo, I, gr I got him. Okay, here we go. I got I got some more gun. All right. We're doing all right. Can I... Oh, I can grab the grenade. I can grab that gun. Let's grab it and reload. Your uh, your range with the gravity thing is really, really forgiving. I, I can... I really appreciate that. Also, our lad here is being very forward. I don't know how long he's going to be with us, but I, I appreciate him while we have him. I love this. The lighting is so, so nice. I, I seriously cannot get over that. Even, like, the little nooks and crannies between like girders are kind of peeking through it's stuff like that i don't know it you know i'm not ne necessarily a huge um graphics fanatic i don't necessarily need them but when they're when they're there when they're put to good use i think i i really appreciate good environmental design throw no um the other conscripts or something something they built a town around this derelict Trading parts for food and supplies with the nearby industries. Call themselves the Free Scrappers. Took me in when I had nothing else to go. They are good people. Is that their symbol? The, uh, I will say the water looks a little bit stiff. But I understand, uh, keeping it that way probably keeps, um, hardware requirements down. This is the kind of game I think it would benefit, um, be, like running on on anything you know it's like one of those games like i i, I have a computer it, it it has not much for cpu just a hamster and a wheel but but it runs a daca and so i am happy so what are we doing are we putting this in here oh we are Ooh, okay it's kind of a guess but oh i see okay so we can we can like no all right that's fine Oh, maybe it's not fine actually. I don't I don't get too many chances at that. Let's try this one more time. Or maybe I do get more chances. There we go. Better to do a a whip than a toss. Careful, drop one blessed mechanism and I will have your hands. Do you not know what you carry? This is no mere relic, my brothers. This is a slumbering god. Oh yeah, shard rifle. I feel like this is a secret that I have discovered. What what did what's happening with those? Whoa. Oh, I can I can stab with it. Ooh. Oh no, I died. Okay. Let's see what dying is like in this game. Oh, we have to Okay, we got to we got to reload. <laughs> they they reloaded me with my fire extinguisher. I appreciate that. All right. V to cycle through your different. I have different grenades. Oh, I have fire grenades. Oh hey, did you come from in there? Yeah. We got the. I saw some of the <laughs> reviews saying we got we got banjo kazooie dialogue in this game. Some some voice actors who haven't had work in a long time, getting some getting a nice paycheck from this game. Uh, poles, I know they're, they're just poles, but they really kind of give me a, a bit of a PTSD from the hanging barnacles and, and Half-Life. I really do get very hefty uh, Half-Life vibes from this game. Nice. I've got a bit of a tactical advantage here. You know, not to get political, but I do appreciate that in this game, the, the major enemy is just the police. <laughs> <laughs> That's, that one's not going to sit too well with some people, and I don't mind. Yo, I'm I'm honestly getting some really decent shooter vibes from this game. I, I was saying during my Half-Life playthrough um, that, like, there just aren't enough of these kind of games. Uh, I know this game's got a, a really cool sandbox mode, but I actually really appreciate that it's got this kind of linear move from location to location um, campaign. You begin to recognize... Oh, can we jump on the train? <laughs> Maybe, but I missed it. Alright. 
Well, I've only died a, a couple of times. I think I've done I've done okay. I have I do have the game set to to normal. This game has pretty robust. Um, I want to try and make the train this time. Yes, it's got pretty robust difficulty settings. So that's really cool. What, what was that? I think I did see a sniper rifle. Oh god. Not okay. Not okay at all. Okay, alright, alright. Well, fun that you can actually like jump on the train. I saw a gun here. Oh, this is the gun I'm currently using. So that's more ammo. Nice. I'm not sure if maybe there's a stealthy way of playing this game. Probably not. Oh, you almost got me there, bud. That was nice. That worked out. I wonder how far you can fire. Wow, I threw it over. That's pretty incredible. That's a new enemy type, by the way. I haven't seen that one before. Oh, is this a sniper rifle? Ooh. Not. Did, was that my extinguisher killing someone there? This is so good. I The weapon variety in this game is actually really nice. I actually do appreciate that you can only carry, like, one main and one secondary. I think that uh, it really... It means you got to make a choice, and I think that that means you're, you know, like... Your your decisions do actually kind of like have some mechanical difference. Listen, I just didn't want to have to say your choices matter, okay? All right, I just don't want it to sound like. So okay, so what is that? Is that a turret? Oh, it's a drop ship. It's a drop ship, and I have no idea what I'm gonna do there. Testament to this this game's quality. I'm, I'm really enjoying this despite doing very badly at it That guy he really loves running around like a chicken with its head cut off There we go finally dead this uh, this magnum is actually really nice I'm gonna switch to a, a different weapon honestly just because I don't want to use up the ammo this is a classic, um, you're being, like, invaded. Like, there's a, there's a... You have, like, a save zone and you have to defend it. Where's my blade? Where are you, blade? I can't find it. No, it's gone. I didn't. Uh, I didn't do anything with that message. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna call it there for the story. This this seems really cool. It's got a lot of influences from a lot of my favorite games. So I'm I'm sitting pretty honestly. I I think this is fantastic. But I do want to check out the other mode, as was recommended to me by the dev. A dis a distinct. Alternate experience, explore and complete quests and missions in a non-linear open world. Then what? We've been contract, uh, contracted by a new shadow client. They've commissioned us out here to run our brand of special operations. Shadow client? Yes, S-Class, we don't even, we don't even get a name. They really want me to have a pistol. They really don't want me to use a flare gun. So, do we have a map, I wonder? We're going into the in this blind, Sergeant, so for now on... For, so for now, you'll be left to investigate at your own discretion. Report anything noteworthy that you find out there. This is really cool. 
I've also been issued with a map of the known area. It's not much, but it could be useful. Press J to open the mission log. So here's the map. I'm not even sure where I am, to be honest. Pulse grenade, Molotov cocktail, satchel charge. Oh, type here to add notes. Oh, that's really cool. I, I like this feature. Objective general recon, hold X button to delete note. We don't really have a main objective yet. And I don't know where I am. Major, I found something interesting. There's a huge land radar tower near my landing site. Its main sig signal modulator is fr fried, but if I can find a new replacement part, I might be able to get it working. Good find, Sergeant. That radar could prove to be a critical mission asset in the future. Investigate the local structures for any clues as to where you might find those. Oh, I'm being shot at. Is that just shooting an enemy? A random enemy? I'm not sure, super sure of what kind of enemies we're going to be facing, but I have a funny feeling it's maybe more of the same. Sounds like my dropship is picking a fight. Please select an article to view more information on that topic. Valley running east to west on the southern border of the compound. This is the namesake of the Calico Valley power plant. Ah, so this has information on different parts of the map. Compound southeast sector. This is really interesting. Um, so there's different different info on a lot of the different stuff going on. Compound features railway control tower for North Block. Wow, this is uh, this is quite in depth for like an extra game mode. I could definitely see like people buying this game just for this game mode. Like this feels very like I don't know. I could have seen this uh, sold separately, if I'm being honest. Same engine, different different experience. So it is uh, much the same, basically, combine wannabes. <laughs> We've got a radio. I'm not sure where I am on the map, but I think that's part of the fun is like trying to figure out where you are. You're you're very much trying to gather some information, intel about the area. Oh god, oh god. He was right to run. So yeah, these are lads just kind of wandering into the area. Um, near my dropship, and they're just getting, like, ganked. Oh, I found a shield, I think. I'm hearing something of value down here. God damn it, Eddie, I put the maintenance order last week, and the land radar is still offline. Get your lazy ass over to the machine shop and storm drain. Find some damn spare parts and fix that radar. Notice this work will the, this work order has gone unfulfilled for over twelve hundred days, a thousand days. Failure to complete work orders may result in termination of employment. Assistance required. Enter code. I don't have a code. It might be that um, I should have like been paying more attention to some of that data, and it would have told me a code. And this is something of value. Maybe? Hit J. Dropship landing zone. From here you can return to... Okay, so that's where the beachhead is. So I have to assume that I'm in this zone. I'm in the I'm in the beachhead still. And in fact, if I look... If you look in, you can kind of make out details um, that we've seen before. Search the areas around beachhead for replacement parts to fix the radar tower. 
Okay. Not sure what that means, but could be bad. So I, ooh, that was weird. Those are like robots, oh God. We've got ourselves a rocket launcher. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll try out the rocket launcher. So we definitely have some different, gr ooh, what the heck is that? Is that like a creature? Is that our first like... Yeah, that thing looks terrifying. Also, I did notice for a brief... For a brief moment there we had, um... Control over... Okay, over the direction of the rockets. Maybe? Seems to me that then enemies are like spawning in slowly, but surely. I'm hearing, oh, okay, there's lots of stuff going on now. Things are developing at a, quite a rate right now. Okay. I feel like I kicked the hornet's nest. So, those guys are not taking damage from my weaponry. I'm running out of ammo. Grenade launcher. Wow, those guys take a lot of hits. But they do have some really nice weaponry. What is this? Oh, that's the this is the weapon I, I found that one time. So I'm kinda struggling. To find out where I'm where I'm supposed to be going, what I'm supposed to be doing, but this is still really cool. I, I feel like I, I should be going back here and um, no no there's a there was a terminal somewhere. Where was that terminal? I need to go like read that terminal again and pay a bit closer attention to what it's telling me. I, will, I would like to know, um, if I make notes, type here to add notes and then hit enter. Is this uh, only on the side or does that add a note to the map? I guess there is no way because like, I technically don't know where you are on the map. Catacombs, that sounds scary. Okay, hey, that sounded spooky. Was it down here or is this where I couldn't proceed? Yeah. I will say I feel like the some of the footstep sound effects sound like they're like happening somewhere else. I always get kind of creeped out by my own footsteps. So what is this down here? doesn't look like anything. Maybe I'm supposed to come back at some point. Oh, that like jumps you forward a little bit. You can kind of exploit that.
hearing something. I'm not sure what this is doing for us, but it seems to me it's probably... If it can interact with it, I should. It's a very naive way of looking at things, I'm, I know, but... Ooh, artifact found. That seems like a good thing. Oh, we've got quite a lot of lads. This gun uh, feels very much like the needler from, oh god, from uh, Halo. Okay, we got another tower. Attention, critical communication frequencies reestablished. So what does that mean? Does it mean what does it mean for us? Search the areas around Beachhead for replacement parts to fix the radar tower. Disabling the signal jammers in Beachhead seems to have activated something deeper in the zone. And we've collected one radar or one artifact. I still am looking for oh, Okay, that's terrifying. I ex absolutely hate that. Oh god. Seems to me, as soon as I accomplish something, uh, they spawn dudes in. I say they. The game. Spawn some dudes. Is this where I was reading that stuff? Yeah, there's some, some lads over there. Did I... Oh, there we go. So let's take a bit more notice of this. Uh, Calico Power Plant, location southwest corner of compound. Okay. Data center. Southeast comms relay the dish. Location, com location compound of southeast sector. Location is known locally as the dish. Um, houses main upload link for interplanetary communications relay. This location holds classified intel intelligence and is therefore restricted. Sure. Junction, hub of compounds, local rail network. Lab, um, chairman, uh, that's maybe not, if it doesn't show me map stuff, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna pay as much attention. Railway control tower for North Block located at depot 6C. Okay, so this looks like a map. So is that maybe where I collected the artifact? That looks like maybe the, the area. So this is one of those things I, I kind of wish I could take this note with me. You've been finding odd artifacts as you explore. Mike, none. I can, I can maybe summon in a, uh, a helper. So, I don't know if I'm supposed to, like, go to the storm drain. Could could be your next zone. Ooh, uh-oh. Have I been in here? No. Now we have some uh, satchels. Oh god! Oh man, they're invisible. I hate it. And they scream. Where are you going, buddy? Hey, I want that weapon. Is it burning? It is burning, and I'm still holding it. So, maybe I follow the river. Because it seems to me I want to head south. South would be, I suppose, away from where I came in.
So like, oh wait a minute, it shows me the river though. Okay, so like, uh, I want to be on the left side of this. And then there's apparently an entrance to a new zone. Oh my god. I can't, I can't jump over that. And there's a bunch of dudes over there waiting for me. Ouch. I don't know how that weapon works, but it doesn't seem to very well, if I'm being honest. It's nice to see so much weapon variety, though. I gotta say. Pickaxe? I guess I can pick that up. Ah! I truly hate that. Nope. Where's that other lad? Oh, God. So this is like a nail gun. Oh, we're out of ammo for literally everything except the flare gun. And that actually did a pretty good job. And now we have some shields. Oh, God. More. Oh, God. Yo, what? We, we doom now? Oh, you're not dead. Okay, this is in really frightening, honestly. No ammo. Uh, if I was playing single player, I'd honestly head back to the dropship. Oh god, I have... I have nothing. I guess I have some grenades. This is terrifying. Oh my god. Stop this. Don't ever again. Truly, this is heinous on so many levels. All right, we're heading back to the dropship. What is that? That's kind of a big thing. Oh, I see. I, I used that incorrectly. I'm just trying stuff at this point. Oh, don't don't die at the last second. We're we're heading back to the dropship. I guess they they'll let you just stop if you want. I did I did accomplish something. I wonder if uh like if I go back is it the same zone? Go ahead and confirm your next mission at the command terminal. <laughs> Unlock more missions by performing reconnaissance in the zone. Okay, so, yeah, I, I, I didn't uh, gather enough intel to in order to unlock more missions, but uh, still, it's, it's really interesting stuff. Um, also terrifying, it seems like enemies kind of get summoned in. I don't think you can really play this like an immersive sim, like where you, you can you can be stealthy, but um, it's got all of the makings of a really, really solid shooter all the same. Um, I'm, I'm really interested to try more of this. I might even do some more of this mode for a stream or something because this is this is right up my alley and I, I am super here for it. Um, but that being said, I, I don't think um, I don't I'm not gonna do more of it for this let's try I think we've seen quite a bit and I I really I really like this this is um, a DACA and this is seriously a, like one of my favorite um, it's certainly my favorite shooter discovery in the last like few years and one of my favorite recent discoveries thank you very much Dev for uh, letting me uh, spotlight this this 
absolute gem and uh, I hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you um, did enjoy the video, maybe you wanna hit the like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. And I'll see you guys next time. Um, take it easy.